Welcome back, my friends, to another Skyward Sword HD side quest video here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the side quest, Beetles, Missing Beetle. That's a little bit of a, a weird one. Um, so, the prerequisites for this is going to be to complete the Fire Sanctuary. Then, you have to have freed Levias in the Thunderhead. After then, you're going to talk to Pero. He's this guy right here that I've already talked to, actually, in my stream. He's basically going to talk to you about something. Um, well, he's not going to tell me. Yeah, there you go. Stitch. Stitch basically says... Uh, he's getting a bunch of insects together so you can create a bug uh, heaven on an inside on an island inside that thunderhead so we're gonna have to go actually go see or not stitch stretch i forget his name anyways we're gonna have to go see him so we're gonna go ahead uh we're gonna go to the uh the island uh in the thunderhead i'll show you guys which island we gotta talk to him for the next part of this quest so make your way over here if you don't know what the thunderhead is it's this right here you should know that by now by the time you're at this point of the game if you don't well, I don't know how you got this far, but anyways, let's go ahead over there right now. All right, so in the Thunderhead, um, you can see Isle of Songs right here. Um, Levi's is actually in the way right here, but just kind of all the way south, there's like this big island right here. And it's like probably the second biggest island in this area besides the uh, Isle of Songs. Uh, and if you come to this little landing part right here, you can see it's near the top. You can talk to him right here. Uh, and he's going to say, Link, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I flew into this thick th fog and ended up on this island. Uh, and he's gonna go on to say, uh, I realized this is some kind of insect paradise, so I decided to go after my dream and raise a bunch of bugs here. Now I can spend my days catching the bugs I want. You want to try, uh, I'll release for you? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's give it a, a, a chance, I guess. An easy bug beginner level, uh, and a bug wrangler level. Wrangler level for real bug masters like me. Um, so you can obviously do one of these for either 20 rupees or not, or, or 50. Um, and we don't actually have to do this yet right now. We actually have to go talk to someone first If you want to do this give this a go you can um, Otherwise, we can just move on to the next step because you don't have to do this All right, so after you've talked to the uh, the bug guy stretch or whatever his name is uh, Head over to beetle's shop here, and we're gonna actually have to uh, we're gonna have to talk to beetle at a, a special time here So we're gonna go in here, uh, and we're gonna go and sleep in his bed until nighttime We got to actually talk to him at night. It's not gonna happen during the day um, and, uh, it's gonna basically teleport you, or you're gonna wake up, not teleport you, but you're gonna wake up in, in, uh, on a different island, which of course you can't fly at night. Um, so we're gonna go here. This is the only way to talk to Beetle at night. Uh, and if you've come here any other time, you see that he normally has, a, a, a beetle <laughs> in a cage. Um, and if you talk to him now, he doesn't have the beetle in a cage. So he's, uh, basically... He's gonna go ahead. There you go. He says, "My precious horned colossus beetle has gone missing along with this cage. Um, it's a tragedy." And then you basically say that you'll you'll find the beetle. Um, please go find him with all haste. He abides out there somewhere, all alone in the wild. I beg of you. So you have to have that dialogue uh, to uh, be able to proceed in this. So what you're gonna do uh, after talking to him is you're gonna go back into Beetle's shop. You're gonna sleep until the daytime. And that's gonna allow you to wake back up in Skyloft and all that good stuff. And we can continue this quest. So we actually have to head back to Bug Island, but before we do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab uh, our net and we're going to upgrade it. So I'm going to show you guys see uh, exactly what you need to upgrade. You need three tumbleweed, which of course you get from the Lanayru province. Same thing with the ancient, ancient flowers. You need two of those. Evil crystals. Uh, I can't remember exactly how to get those, but they kind of appear randomly. Um, you can look up um, online, I guess, how to get those. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't need to upgrade the, the net to do this and you need 100 rupees too. You don't need to upgrade it, but it definitely helps because then the net's a lot bigger because you're going to have to do a challenge. You have to collect 10 bugs in under three minutes. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get it first try. We're going to try to get it first try and see how it goes, um, but we're going to go ahead. So again, we got our upgrade. We got a bigger net now, and now we can head back to the bug island inside of the Thunderhead. All right, so back at Bug Island, you can see he's got a bubble over his head now, and he says, hey, it's Link, and then he basically has his little dialogue. Um, I discovered an insanely rare insect after all and uh, he's talking about the horned colossal beetle. So Apparently he got he somehow got it. I can't stop laughing or smiling. I'm so happy my face hurts Yeah, well, this is this is beetle's pet bug. The same beetle flies around in the shack selling his junk um, Yes, please give it back. So you really think a sob story like that's gonna work on me. What a joke. Okay, right awesome great He's he's a jerk. Uh, I suppose it'd be kind of mean to keep someone's favorite pet bug, but at the same time, I don't feel so bad that I'm just going to give it right back. Uh, how about this? If you can pull off a time in my game that makes me, uh, even me, admit you are the master of bug catching, I'll give this little guy back, and basically you gotta go, you're on, uh, and it's gonna be 10 rupees. I, I guess I'm assuming it's gonna be the easy one, 
Um, which if it is that one, I know exactly what to do because I've actually <laughs> I just did it uh, in between. So we're gonna I'm gonna look at the list real quick and hopefully it's the the, the exact one. Uh, let me grab this. Um, okay, so we don't need this. We don't need this beetle here. We need two of these like dung beetles or whatever. Uh, we need the praying mantis. I know exactly where the praying mantis is. I know where the butterfly is. Um, do we need? Yeah, we need a dragonfly. And I'm really really bad at catching dragonflies. There we go. This is why you want the big bug. Uh, there's a dung beetle right there. Did he just go down? Let's go ahead and catch it. There you go. There's one out of two. We're going to go up here. Uh, I don't know. No, yeah, we do need this. This is the another one we need. Um, we need... No, not the bees. <laughs> That's not what we need. Uh, we need a butterfly. Okay, let me just catch all the bees here as we do this. This is really, really complicated. Uh, there's a butterfly right there. I do not need that dragonfly, so we're just going to head down. We need a praying mantis. We need uh, that other beetle, which I, I'm drawing a blank. I think it's that. Is it that? I, th I think it's that one right there. I think. I'm not sure. We're going to see. Um, no, it was not that one. All right. We're going to go through here. I'll show you guys exactly where to get the uh, the praying mantis. The praying mantis is actually in here. So you go ahead and catch it. Boom. There you go. Um, we're going to have to pull our claw shots out for this to go back up here. I believe this is... No, that's not the beetle either, is it? Uh, where's my net here? Um, no, that's not it. We don't need a ladybug, but we're going to grab one anyways, because why not? Is there anything here that we need? I can't remember. I'm trying to blank. Crickets, crickets. Yes, we need we need two crickets. We need two crickets here. So let me grab a cricket. There's one. And we're going to probably have to wait for that one to respawn, I guess. Uh, we need... Is it this? Yeah, it's that. That right there. There you go. That's the other one. So we need... All we need now is a cricket and an ant. And we got like one minute to do this. So let's go ahead back down here. See if it respawned yet. Um, oh, and the dung beetle. Forgot. There's the other dung beetle right there. Come on. Come on. There you go. Uh, we're going to go down here. We're going to see if the cricket respawned yet. Hopefully it did. It did not. Oh, it did. It did. There we go. There we go. We got the other cricket. Uh, all we need now is the ant, which I believe... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I fell. What, what happens if you fall? Do you have to restart? I sure hope not, because if so, we're kind of in trouble. Um, the ants, I believe... Oh, they're, they're in a spot that I can't actually get to right now. Frig. All right. We got 30 seconds to get there. They're like downstairs or something. Um, oh, please, 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 please make it. Please make it. Please make it. I believe they're down here. If I'm wrong, then well, that sucks. Um, are they in here? Oh, gosh. I don't remember. No, they're not here. That's a cricket. Okay. Well, I think we failed. I think it's safe to say that we failed, um, which is very unfortunate. But let me go ahead and get this done one more time and... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's right here. The last one's right here. Right at the entrance. There you go. You see it right there. I missed it. So, that's at the very, very beginning. There you go. You've seen where it was. Well, I, I didn't do it in time, so let me go do it in time and show you guys what happens when you actually finish it in time. All right, so I finished up the quest or the, the, the mission. I did it in two minutes and uh, whatnot. There's actually some pots at the very, very top where there's a praying mantis up there as well, so you don't have to go to the very beginning. But you do need to go to the beginning for the ant anyway. So anyways, um, we did it in two minutes, as he promised. He's going to give us the uh, Colossus Beetle. He, gets, uh, he says, I guess I won't be able to uh, bug you anymore. <laughs> nice puns, buddy. So we got the beetle, so you know what exactly is next. We got to return it. Make sure to tell beetle that uh, bug lover to bug lover. I feel sort of bad for causing him so much stress. Uh, and there we go. We've uh, we've accomplished it. We also got the big net, which really honestly helped me out a ton. Uh, so let's go ahead back and uh, let's go to uh, talk to Beetle. So to finish up the quest, it's going to have to be nighttime again. So go ahead and sleep in Beetle's uh, shop. Wake back up on his island. Go talk to him over here. You can't talk to him in his shop, unfortunately. Uh, and we can return his, uh, his beloved horned Colossus Beetle. Uh, so we've returned the Beetle to Beetle. Cool, right? You found it, my dear bug. I thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Next time you enter my shop and demand, you take any one of my items for half of the list listed price. So you only get to do that one for one item. So if an item is like a thousand rupees, so I'll give it to you for 500 rupees, which is a pretty good deal. And he gives you five gratitude crystals as well, which gets you a little bit closer 
uh, to uh, finishing it off with uh, that uh, that 80. So, uh, anyways, that's going to wrap up this side quest. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, if you found it useful, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, guys, new. And I'll see you guys very soon in another one. Until then, my friends, game on. And thanks for watching.